Hmm. Now that's weird. <laughs> Somebody seems to have written a comic book about me. The misguided misadventures of Mr. Miola. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that one. Are you making lights of my misfortunes? My misguided misadventures? What is so misguiding about my adventures? Nothing. They're beautiful adventures. They're successful adventures, especially... What in the world? <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modern Survival and Primal Fear on the Lost Islands. And uh, you might uh, recognize a few of these little these little things around our base currently. Uh, shout out, mega shout out to Cyrus in Ark, who is a viewer of the channel and has... Uh, he reached out. He wanted to make me a mod. And we came up with an idea to go and uh, throw a few things into the game like our, our new poster that we're selling as merchandise and then that too oh and no hold on hold on hold on not to mention our, our mug we got our mug it's very big and super sized i might need to downsize it a little bit just so i can actually fit my mouth around it because it's not uh it's, it's, it's a little bit out of proportion just i just want to say if you do buy yourselves a mr miola mug uh don't expect one of this size okay um this is not to scale Clearly, however, it is kind of to scale. Like the picture is pretty to scale with me. Look at this. I've actually never done like a side-by-side -side version of me and my dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bam, there we go. That's not, that's like a pretty good accurate. Hold on, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like change up the armor to like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do like a little comparison in a second. But before we get too far into the video, if you do enjoy it, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Uh, Yeah, it's been a pretty good week so far. Pretty good last seven days or so we've we've definitely ascended to the next tier put it that way demonics out the out like out the wires we've got we've got demonics coming out of everywhere we got our we got this beast right here tame this guy up yesterday celestial ferox absolute machine and of course we uh we've started breeding omega rexes now unfortunately when it comes to these oh you're fully grown oh look at that we've got three fully grown mega rexes the problem is um as you can see as we as the waddle on over here uh the cooldown timer where is it there it is to get this guy breeding again ready to mate in four hours and 41 minutes that was well over five hours i guess an hour ago um but yeah we we ain't gonna be getting this omega rex army very soon at all not until we speed things up a touch but anyways um i thought that was pretty cool not cool that's not cool that's terrible as a matter of fact because i don't have any eggs waiting in here which means yeah basically it's like a five or six hour timer which is absolutely crazy anyways 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 yeah shout out like i said to cyrus in arc he uh reached out made this little mod including a tiny little plushie down here you guys can actually download this mod for yourselves if you want to throw this stuff in your game um if, if that's something you want to do there's also a phone i haven't got the phone out it's this one here it's in a it's in a case it needs a protective shell. It's a case in a case. It's a it's a, a phone in a case in a case. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't yet done so, hit that red subscribe button. Um, this was really, really cool. I, I, I My plan was to just have an, a phone with the cover on the back of it because this is the exact iPhone cover or Samsung cover that you guys can have um, if you head over to my merch store at mrmiola.com. Um, but then he went through this on the front as well, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to do that. Hi, I'm Miola. This channel is all about entertaining the world with video games in a positive manner. I think I'd do that. I want a million subscribers. That's a very recent picture. Anyways, um, yeah, how cool is this? I really like it. Also, might even, um, we'll see how we go. I'm going to see if I can implement our old hoodies. The extinct hoodie or something like that. I, don't know, I think that'd be cool. Anyways, 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 what are we doing today? That's a fantastic question. I didn't really think that far ahead. I just got a little bit excited. That's right. I wanted to really quickly. Oh, where do I craft this stuff up? Can I get the desert pants? I just want to do a side-by-side -side comparison really, really quickly. Uh, these ones here. I don't have silk. No, I can't do it. I wanted to put the little pants on and then we can we can compare ourselves to <gasps> Cartoon Miola. How cool would that have been? Except, no, nah, we can't. Also, my hair is a little bit too gray. I got to wait for it to go a little bit whiter and then we'll match it. But everything else about the image is pretty spot on. Getting eaten by a T-Rex or whatever mutated weird blue dinosaur that is. Yeah, it sounds about right to me. Anyways, I think we are going to go and head to the ice area. That's right. We've spent the last like seven days there, but it just so happens everything interesting on this map resides up here in the, the icy area. This this whole region up here. Except this time we're going to be heading up there for something a little bit different. We are going to be looking for the wandering loot boss thing. The guy we, we ran across him the other day. He's a giant ferox. Much like my dude over here, our celestial ferox. Uh, the only difference is he's not blue. He's not celestial. He's, he might not even be as big 
In fact, there's a lot of differences as I'm listing these off, I'm starting to realize. Um, he's also got this massive barrel of explosives strapped to his back. He's an absolute machine and he drops amazing amounts of loot. So we're going to go and fight him and kill him, hopefully. I think that's how this thing works. So yeah, let's do this thing. Before we do, though, I do have an idea. I've been getting suggestions nonstop, basically, about getting ourselves the dino... These things, maybe? Is it these? The awesome dino tracker? Use this on your dino... Yeah, I think it's this one here. I've been getting comments about this stuff for so long. Like, like years, years. And I don't know why I never do it. It's just pure, I don't know, forgetfulness? Laziness even? Uh, but basically what you can do with these is you can place them on dinosaurs. Wow, that's interesting. You can place them on dinosaurs. But what do they achieve, Miola? Well, we can summon our dinosaurs instead of teleporting to and from base. So if I go and put one here, and then I think we, we consume it, I assume. Okay. Now I go and get my, my thing, my awesome teleporter remote. Guys, I've got no idea if this is actually how it works because I've never done it before. And then what? No, that's, that's wrong. I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, you right click with it. And then you can teleport your... So if I... Oh my gosh, it's like instant. Oh, because we're like right next... Dude, that's sick. That's sick. All right, all right. This is... <laughs> put it this way, right? I put it off this long for no reason whatsoever. But you guys can bet yourselves that um, now that we've now that we've actually implemented this as a thing, it's it's never not going to happen again. Like, I feel like this is going to be the first thing I do every series. We're just going to throw these on a bunch of our dinosaurs and be able to, yeah, do that. Um, on top of that, we also got our... Uh, check my Tyrannodons over here just to get them closer to the uh, dodo nest because that pumps up their fertility they give us more eggs the problem is though i've got them on a hitching post so i can't whistle them down not only that i can't get up there because i don't have a gravel hook or a ladder um so i didn't think that one there through very well but supposedly this was uh suggested by zathara the amazing modder uh if your dinosaurs are attached to a hitching post this is only for single player worlds i guess but um they will continue producing eggs when you're away from base Basically, they remain loaded in, apparently, uh, no matter where you are in the world. So, yeah, they're going to keep on generating me stuff, which is cool. That's what we want them to be doing, after all. Okay, so I'm going to take my RG on this one here because we no longer have... <gasps> I just remembered. We probably we probably got to do it, don't we? I got a new, I got a new gravestone. We're going to expand the graveyard, guys, because we had a very, very unfortunate fallen friend yesterday. Where am I even going to place this thing, man? Um, we're going to go for a third row. I'm filling up the entire beach here, but yeah, I guess so. I mean, the third row will eventually fill itself up, I'm sure. But uh, this one here goes out to our fabled unicorn. The poor old fella who copped an absolute explosion to the face from a celestial ferox that I ended up taming. So I wasn't all for like nothing, but it's still sad. That thing was an absolute machine. Anyways, fabled RG, come with me, friend. I think we're just going to teleport out to... Um, yeah, the blue obelisk, I guess. Yeah, we'll just get blue obelisk and we'll work the rest out from there. So let's go. Let's do this thing. We also are 100% obviously going to have to replace um, our fallen unicorn because they're just so handy. Maybe even next time I'll just get a unicorn. The the, the white one, the, you know, rainbow unicorn. Um, it's the only unicorn left that we haven't collected, I'm pretty sure. So now that we're out here, we're actually, there's a few things out here that might actually tickle our fancies. We're going to have to like, just play it like one step at a time. I should also put my chest piece back on. So let's do that. I should, let's do that. Um, there's celestial dinosaurs out here, obviously. We might even find some demonics, but I don't think I've ever found a demonic out here in the snowy areas. Uh, we have glowing red, very devastating, dangerous dinosaurs like this one right here. No, wait, that's just Rudolph. Yep, of course. There's a lot of these Rudolphs around. <laughs> ah, they're always teasing me. Um, I'm just trying to think where we found the rampaging Ferox boss. I feel like it was along this area. Might have even been around here, to be honest. I think it was close to the blue beacon. Like, I don't want to miss it. But I know I'm probably going to miss it. <laughs> but that's a cool. That's uh, that's fine. It's fine by me. Because if we do miss it, I'm sure we're going to find something equally interesting elsewhere. There's so much stuff in this snowy area. Celestials, origin dinosaurs, spirit dinosaurs, which I can't tame yet, but I hope to very, very soon. I still want to collect more celestials and demonics, though. We've got to like, keep the balance and get another celestial soon. Um, but yeah, then of course, you know, you, you got your, um, elementals. We still need some more elementals to give us elemental eggs, but, uh, we haven't had a whole lot of luck finding those, unfortunately. Uh, we tend to kill them when we do find them. Um, oh, I thought I saw it, but it was just a pig. 
Never mind. But yeah, what I am kind of looking for is explosions. Because normally these bosses tend to just blow everything to smithereens. So I assume explosions will definitely be the like the draw. They'll draw us towards what we're looking for. But yeah. I'm kind of regretting not bringing a Tyranodon on this journey. Just for the extra speed buff. Because we are rather slow on our RG. I do have levels. I got one level. Um, I got to level up my other dinosaurs, by the way. Because we have... <laughs> I've been getting a ton of comments about that. Uh, all of our dinosaurs are unleveled. And yeah, I, I hear you guys. I hear you. I got to get to that very, very soon. Or, you know, maybe we just target one of these guys. It's only a level 110. Dang it. It's only a 110. But I need a strong flyer. And that would be, like, amazing. Like, really, really good. A Celestial Argy. If it was a high level, I'd be on that. I'd be all over that. But unfortunately, it's a 110. So it's not quite what I'm looking for, but it's, it's a look. Okay. We, there's a few of them around. Okay. We'll find one eventually to tame up. All right. Let's keep looking for this. Uh, whatever this guy is, the, the rampaging roaming loot. Ooh, hello. Another Omega Rex. How you doing? I actually need, um, Omega hide for saddles and stuff. So yeah, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ooh, this one's got some crazy damage reduction on him. I'm barely, okay. This guy's strong. All right. <laughs> Rock Drake. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time, Buckaroo. Um, okay, you're kind of strong. How strong are you? You're only level 40. I Can I even kill you? I'm very tempted to just hop on one of my demonics right about now because I'm having a bit of a rough... This is why I need a Celestial Argentavis, okay? This is what I'm talking about. Um, I can't fly around and kill stuff. This Argy's weaker than my Pteranodons. I'm so tempted to go and get my Pteranodon right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, like, really, really tempted to go and unhitch it from the post and bring it here. Unfortunately, I didn't put a dino tracker on it, so we can't even like summon it like that. But oh, man, all right, look, I gotta hit him 20 more times, okay? Let me just let me just hit him another 20 times. Hopefully we don't die. I don't want to use another health potion or a health potion, full stop. We haven't used any yet, but I don't want to go wasting no health potions on an Omega Rex. It's a level 40 after all. I'm actually <laughs> Okay, yeah, we actually need to. If I caught like a stray attack from a, a celestial, like the Ferox did to us yesterday, um, this, yeah, well, that's it. We're going to lose this RG in an instant. So I feel like it's got to happen. It's got to happen, especially because we're about to fight an explosive boss. That'll probably kill us in an instant. So let's do this thing. <laughs> let's get out of here. Okay. Now I'm going to have to land my RG up here. We're going to have to... Oh, who do I even bring with me? I want to bring... Oh, man. Man, both the females are ridiculously low levels. Um, Unhitch. I guess it's... All right, I got to bring the male with me. The other two will keep laying eggs, though. So that's that's nice. Also, real quickly, let me just go and drop one of these on you. And now I can teleport you around as I please. All right, now we can travel around really, really fast. Not only that, we can do really, really good damage and hopefully find this thing a little bit faster. I really, really hope so. All right. This is actually looking kind of familiar. Something just powered down. There's a celestial nearby that was powered up. It just powered down. I don't know what it is. I do see an Omega Rex. I feel like this is where we spotted the Ferox. I might even need to go back and check uh, the footage from the other day just to, just to, just to see. Oh, there he is! Yes, I was right. All right. Okay. 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 We're in the right place. We're in the right place. <laughs> oh, he was right behind me. Okay. So there he is. Is uh nope, where did he go? Oh no. Oh yeah, no, he's down there. He's a very shadowy looking figure. Look at him there. 352,000 health. Look, I can take him down with our demonics, but can I damage him with my pteranodon? Is the question. Also, I got 109 levels up my sleeve. I should probably just I should probably drop these around the place a little bit, shouldn't I? In fact, I'm gonna go and chuck some into crafting skill. That way, when the time comes, I can actually craft some nice blueprints. Get a little bit of speed. Chunk up the melee damage. You know what? Some weight. You know, it never goes un unwanted. Um, we got so many levels. What do I, where do I even put these things? Oxygen? Hey, nothing like swimming a little bit quicker. My my oxygen levels are ridiculous, by the way. Uh, melee damage, I guess. Then we can maybe grind up some better stuff using our our um, chainsaw. All right, cool. All right, fantastic. So, a um, little bit nervous because I, I, I don't really know what to expect from this, but I'm just going to just gonna dip down, give him a bit of a little swipe -a There he is. Look at him, he's so angry. Uh, so, this one here is the ramshackle one. But don't be, don't be like turned away from this. This is it all. They are, these guys have, oh my gosh, I'm so fast. These guys have multiple different levels of, yeah, see, I, don't, I don't know how strong, how much health have I got? I got 45. Surely I can survive a hit though, right? 
Look, just don't don't go easy on one of these if you do find one. Oh, okay, that's not ideal. Um, come on, I just spent ten minutes looking for this thing, and now, <laughs> now I'm being led like across the map away from it. I actually am lost. I wasn't paying attention to where my. Oh my gosh, I got eight more seconds of this flying. Okay, we didn't go too far. It's like looping me straight back to where we came from. As long as it doesn't land me right next to this Ferox thing, I'll be happy. Like, I don't want to be right next to it. I just want to be nearby. Um, that Udiranus has to go, though. What is this? U Hold on. This Udiranus is... Is that an Omega? It's an Apex. Okay. I was going to say, uh, that, that thing's strong. And he was orange, and I was like, really? But no, it isn't. Maybe I should just go get my own Ferox. You know what? I don't really need much Radon anymore, do I? Um... All right, I think we might be okay. I might not be okay. I might, okay, I don't know. Let, let's get our Ferox out here. Why was it pink? That's interesting. And then I th I'm assuming I can just teleport you back home like that. All right, yeah, we're going to bust out the new blood, you know. We got this guy yesterday. It's time to take it for a test drive and see what he's capable of. Or she, I think it's she. Let's go Ferox v Ferox, baby. Ferox battles for days. Ooh, oh yeah, he, not, he ain't dealing that much damage, is he? All right. Let's go. Fire breath. Woohoo! Look at that fire breath of damage. That's what I'm talking. Wait, where did it go? Is it still out here? Hey. Oh, I killed it. Was I meant to kill it? I don't think I was meant to kill it, guys. <laughs> I just don't think I was. I mean, like, I know that that was obviously what we were going for. Killing it. Oh, no. I think I just, I think, I think I'm like 10 seconds too late in remembering what you're actually meant to do with these things. I think what you're meant to do. I mean, we got... Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, though, it didn't look like any of that was ascendant, did it? Um, it's all... Oh, no. It's all ramshackle. We got this. We got an ascendant apex deodon saddle. Yeah, not quite what I'm looking for. An alpha giga saddle. That's pretty sick, though. And the rest is all blueprints. So, basically, what we were meant to do just then... I guess we could just roam around and see if we can find another one. Ooh, Mantis. I actually need... Uh, well, not that I need it, but... Hey, a bit of, bit of chitin and organic polymer is always welcome. Um, ooh, oh, it's just a, it's another Rudolph up here. But basically, what we're meant to do is get them down rather weak. I think you want to keep them, like, with a little bit of health. I'm stuck on an Ovis or Deer or something. You want to take them down to a, a slight percentage of their health. And then I think what happens is they evolve up to their next tier. So we started at Ramshackle. I think once you get them nice and weak, then it turns into an apprentice. And then once you get that one nice and weak, it turns into a journeyman. And then followed by Mastercraft and then Ascendant. And then eventually, what's the red one called again? Goliath. Godlieth, sorry. The Godlieth. Um, and then with every tier that they grow up, they obviously get stronger and they drop better loot. So that's what we were meant to do, but I completely butchered up the entire process. Maybe I should have just stuck to the Pteranodon, got it nice and weak instead of going in and breathing fire. Maybe I should have just melee. Actually, I would have one-shot it anyways. The Ramshackle tier is ridiculously weak, so I butchered that completely. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm running around in circles right now, you hear that music, don't you? There's an origin nearby. Maybe a primal. Regardless, I want to find it and I want to kill it. But unfortunately, he's either very well hidden or I am very well blind. Probably a bit of both. Also, is. Alright, I gotta be careful. Oh, wait, is that a rock drake or a spirit dinosaur? That's a rock drake. Alpha Rock Drake. Hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, we're not looking for Rock Drakes now. What I am, what I wouldn't mind finding is a, a Griffin. Um, fortunately, haven't had a lot, a lot of luck with Griffins lately. We've only found one or two. We found two. We actually teamed one up um, and then he died. And then we killed the other one. He died, obviously, too. That's what killing a dinosaur involves. Um, but yes, unfortunately, we don't have one of our own. Tell you what, it's kind of hard navigating this terrain on the back of a Ferox. I really would like to fight another one of these loot bosses, though. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be really, really sad. All right. So we've got a bit of a bird's eye view here. We can kind of see around. But unfortunately, every dinosaur is like out of our range. I'm actually tempted to switch up to um, our... What's he called? The Caprasuchus. Just so we can like slingshot our way around the map or something. <laughs> you know, they got their like dive attack. We can just dive off the top rock and... I don't know, make up some solid ground like that. But, I don't know. Anyways, maybe we get some loot from a fabled dinosaur. Um, ooh. That little, little rhino decided to attack me. 
Oh, hello. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Okay. Um, we, we, um, uh, okay. We've got a second opportunity here by the looks of it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay. I saw a tree fall in the distance and I was like, I wonder what knocked that down. I didn't expect to see an explosion right beneath me. Um, 440,000 health. Okay, I might actually be able to hit this one without killing it. Um, okay, can I do that? Let's have a look. Please don't kill this. Ah, I missed it. Yeah, okay, 136,000. Okay. He's getting nice and bloody, but 136. All right, I shouldn't kill it. I should not kill this. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to... No, you other dinosaurs. Oh, oh, oh. I think he's evolving. Wait, no, no. What are you... Okay, good. No, no, no. He's killing them. Okay, I thought for a second there. I thought for a second uh, that the, the, wild, the wild dinosaurs were trying to kill him, but why are you fighting stuff? Just, just take a second. Just take a second, bro. He's berserk mode. He's in berserk mode. Oh, gosh, he's quick. <laughs> Let me just... Uh, he's actually dealing a pretty good chunk of damage to us. Um, okay, hold on. All right, okay. Okay, just take it easy, bro. Just take it easy. Okay, I'm letting you live. I don't want to fight you right now. I'm just... Wait. Oh, there it is. He evolved. I was right. And now he's got 1 million health. He's an apprentice. Well, you're not yet experienced. You don't have your license yet. So let's just go and keep on going. He's got a million health, which means I can hit him... Uh, he might have 400,000 health left. We're lucky we've got something strong already. But even if I were to... All right, hold on. Let me just see if that's enough. I actually have no idea. 200. Okay, I can hit him one more time. Okay, that's it. Not fighting him anymore. Backing it up. There he goes. He's a berserk mode. He's glowing. He's glowing blue this time. All right, I'm going to get out of here. So already, now that he's at apprentice mode, um, he'll, be, he'll drop us much better loot than we currently got from the green one that we killed accidentally before. In fact, was it an accident? No, it was completely intentional. Um, I just didn't know what I was doing. Also, this guy is mental. He's all over the shop. It doesn't even run straight, man. But in three seconds, he's going to go purple mode. Um, probably going purple mode right now, as a matter of fact. Is he purple yet? I don't even know where he went. There he is. He's purple. All right. How much health has he got? Let's have a look. 1.8 million now. All right. Well, I'm still pretty confident that we can take this guy on. Um, I don't know where he is, though. There he is. There he is. Okay. I can't get close to him. Okay. Okay. All right. We can hit him a bunch of times. Look at this anglo coming over to say hello. Hey, who's throwing poop at me? Wait, why are you all getting involved, man? Yes. He ain't like an origin. You don't need your help. All right, I gotta be careful I don't kill him now. Um, all right, he's only halfway. He's got 900. So one, two, three, four, four, maybe another one or two. I've got no idea how much health he's got. All I know is we are just absorbing everything he's thrown at us. All right, one more hit, I reckon. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. We're good here. He's gone berserk mode. I gotta be careful where I throw attacks right now. Also, here I am just running into explosions. Um, I think very soon, though, we are gonna have to have to start being careful. <laughs> it's it's gonna become more than just sponging attacks. As soon as he goes into, well, I don't really know what to expect. Also, wait a second, he's actually a bit bugged out. It's not just he's not just running sideways, bugged out. His little backpack fell off. He's like skating around on it. It's meant to be on his back, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll throw that down on the bar. Okay, that's like the origin thing that happens. Hold on, are we good? Is he gone origin mode or is he just a he's just a mark? Seven million. Okay, we actually gotta be careful now. Oh yeah, actually gotta be careful. All right. Um, I feel like some of his attacks might actually stack up pretty good now. I'm gonna breathe fire on him. I'm gonna start using. No, that wasn't the fire breath attack. That my fire breath attack. There we go. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm too scared to go stronger. All right, I only dealt 200,000 health. Okay. Okay, be careful, bro. I get it. You're strong. I get it. I get it. I really do. But I don't want to kill you, and nor do I want to die to you. But we are so close to getting to, like, the final tier of this. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to check his health because I've been dealing a lot of damage to him. Uh, nope, we still got 4.8 billion. <laughs> I've, I guess... Oh, I just threw that. He's okay, though. He's okay, I think. I think he's all right. <laughs> um, all right, let's keep going. Keep going. More fire breaths. Man, I can't see a thing. All right. And I guess I'm not too concerned about my own health. I'm concerned about how he's going. So as long as he's not getting too banged up, I'm fine. Okay. 2.9 million. In fact, I can just hold my spyglass out while we do this. Look at this first-person fighting mode right here. All right, I think we got to get him down to 700,000 health. I assume it's about 10%. So get him down 90% of his health. And I assume he'll evolve. So we're getting pretty close. <laughs> this is such a weird camera angle to be able to be doing this in. All right, now I'm just going to hit him a few times. Um, 
I'm gonna put that away. All right, is that enough to make you go berserk mode? Oh, actually, I'm down to nearly half health. All right, I'm actually scared of the next tier. Did I just take a screenshot? I had a camera. I have no clue. All right, is he berserk yet? He's killing me. He's dealing pretty hefty damage. All right, he's kind of just, he's just standing there. Oh yeah, he's berserk. He's about to go godliest. All right. Oh, but no, he's not. He's going to go ascendant first. All right, he's still got two tiers left. <laughs> I get it. You can run sideways, okay? I'm very impressed. You run, you run faster sideways than I run forwards. And he's got 17 million now. And he... Okay, yeah, now he's actually going to kill me. Um, all right, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Health potions. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, now I'm invincible. I'm going to go power up. Control C. Drop it, baby. Let's go. Are we stronger now? We should be. Um, let's go fire breaths. More fire breaths. I like the fire breaths. Fire breaths were good. Maybe. Oh my gosh. He's devastating. He really is. Um, my fire breaths are not really... He's kind of just absorbing them a bit. All right. We can get a better view down here, I think. Damn, he looks so good. Man, he's... I actually can't damage him. Why am I not damaging this? I think his attacks are stunning me. I actually can't move. So that would explain it. All right. I'm just going to throw giant balls. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. We're lucky we used the health potion, I think, because uh, we're lucky we've got a few backups too. We'd be in trouble otherwise. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Um, he's draining my... I'm draining my hunger. My stamina is going to drop like a tank as well if we're not careful here. Uh, I reckon we power down. I'm powering down. Yeah. He's like, I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, you guys remember what happened when we fought that origin and we, we couldn't finish the battle because we got too hungry. So we've got to play it safe. We've got him down 3 million health. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous to see what comes out after this. The godliest, the red one. I feel like he's going to be a heavy hitter and a half. But we, my health potion is worn out. Just, just for the time. Just, 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 just a heads up. We've got him a quarter of the way down. He's 4 million health down. we got 12 million to go. All right. I kind of want to like... I don't want to actually... Or... All right. I'm just going to get some distance. And then... I want to hit him with one of these. This doesn't do much damage, does it? Like, well, it's not a direct hit because I can't throw him at the ground. I've got to throw him up in the sky. All right, let's keep doing these. These are working. Unfortunately, he has the same attack and it deals, really, it deals a lot of damage. Um, but I'm hanging in there though. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Okay, we're doing all right. All right, how's he going? Is he bloody at all? No, nope, I guarantee he's still got his half health. There he goes. 10 million to go. We're getting there. This is the point though where I'm kind of tempted to switch up to like our demonic caprasuchus or monkey or something i don't know but i'm still that little bit nervous still a little bit nervous that we accidentally kill him and our caprasuchus was 100 percent do that which technically once we get past apprentice stage um but hey technically once we get to goliath mode it needs to die like that's it that's the final goal it needs to die so um maybe we do bust out the old capra and just like wipe him to the floor in an instant uh, one step at a time though. Let's get through this one here first. We've still got a couple million health to deal. I think he's got about seven left. Um, but we only really need to get him down to, I think 1.7 will do. 1.7 million health, so another five to go. And then, I don't know, maybe we run out of here a little bit. We go bust out the Capro, switch it up a little bit and just hope that we don't, <laughs> we don't ruin things, eh? Plus, I think for the first time we may actually be able to test out ascended or descended technically the descended caprasuchus mode we haven't uh we haven't descended a demonic yet i'm pretty sure because we didn't know how to do it so now we do control c that is the secret anyways like three million remaining that's only a few little fire breaths to go he's at 4.1 four million here we go half all right come on come on let's just half him from here and we are laughing okay, okay here we go three Mound. um I don't know what's going on. I can't see what's going on when we're in spyglass mode. So it makes things a little bit different. I really got to update this spyglass. We're going to get rid of it and get us the skin one. One that we can use without stopping everything we're doing, basically. But, oh, 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 he's berserk mode. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're out. We're out. We're out. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, now he's dealing mega damage. So we, yeah, probably going to run. Um, okay. All right. I'm, I don't want to be waiting around when he goes godliest. So I'm just going to flee. I don't know if he's following me, though. All right. And now it's time for me to go demonic. All right. We've got the demonic. I just hope he hasn't despawned. Imagine if he despawned. Wouldn't that just be the worst thing in the world? 
haven't gone too far though, right? So you can go home. Alright, let's go surprise attack him. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> there he is, baby. There he is. 60 million health. Oh, and I just sent all my health potions home with our Ferox. It's cool though. We got 55 levels of our own. So, oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That. Oh, did you see that? That's a new attack. Oh, I'm actually going to die. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's cool. I forgot. Okay, then. Did I dismount? I think I dismount. Oh, that is not good. Oh, that is not good. Oh, that's really not good. Um, <laughs> um, oh no. Okay. I actually don't know what to do right now. Um, do I grab my, do I, <laughs> uh, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking. Was I not thinking? I don't know what I was doing. Um, try it on. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just, hold on, 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 hold on. Where can I teleport to? Yes. Yes, I can do that. Okay, cool. We can teleport straight back out there. Um, I guess I'm going to take my Ferox. I don't know what is happening with my... Uh, yeah, okay. Look, one step at a time here. Yeah. I'm just going to hope that that's what I did wrong. That I dismounted. But of course I died at this point. Um, okay. Let's just go and do this thing. And hopefully... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I hope that he can't attack us through our mount is what I'm trying to say here. I'm hoping that I made the error and that the game didn't just destroy me. Um, all right. Let's go. Let's hit him. Hit him, buddy. Oh, no. Okay. No, no. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Okay. No, that's definitely. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Wow. We wow. Wow. All right. We are going to lose a dinosaur. I'm not going to lie right now. Okay. So what I can do and I haven't done yet is get a teleporter remote to teleport my dinosaurs out of there. But it just feels cheaty doing that. So do I do that or not? I have no idea what to do right now. If like, like, I'm pretty sure I can what? I can say find dinos and I'm pretty sure I can pull them out of there but it feels right do you know what I mean that's, that's cheating right not that it's cheating but it's it doesn't I'm not gonna do it okay I'm not I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna get comments about it telling me you should have done it but no I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this battle the right way and that apparently means by going nowhere near the enemy um oh wow I can't believe we actually get damaged through our armor all right I need to just get a whistle Attack him, guys, please. You guys are gonna die. Oh, no. Alright, hold on. Are they attacking at least? I'm trying to get a whistle on him. I'm so terrified to get anywhere near this. They're not attacking. I can't even see where they are, though. Hold on. I got, surely got an attack in there. <gasps> what is going on? I didn't even know what it, I didn't even know what damaged me. I have no idea what damaged me. I can't even spawn into bed. Guys, what have we done? What have we done? What have we done? Um, I I can't spawn at my base. I don't have enough beds, apparently. I guess we spawned too many times recently. Oh, my dinosaurs are stuck out there. Oh, where am I? Okay, that's cool. That's, that's pretty close. It's pretty close. But still, like, I was nowhere near the battle. Why can't they attack him? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What, how are you meant to do it? Do I, do I need better armor? My armor's like in, in, incredible. So that can't be it. Is it a bug? Maybe. But potentially not. Also, I don't want to blame a bug for something that's not a bug's problem. Um, ah, you know what? Because my Tyranodon is out of range, I am going to pull my Tyranodon out of there. Or maybe not. Yes, we are. Okay. And then I'm going to teleport back. Okay. Oh my gosh, my Tyranodon's nearly dead. <laughs> okay, maybe he did cop a bit of a beating. Okay. Um, I actually have no idea what to do. Okay. Um, maybe I should just get my dinosaurs out of there, guys. I haven't seen any death messages for like our Caprasuchus yet, but it might be dead. I, I have no idea. Um, it seems my Ferox is, is doing a thing. My Ferox is not doing a thing. He's dead. Oh no! Oh, and yes, okay. You don't need to tell me. I know, I know. I didn't need to lose any teams today. Like, that was avoidable. But it just didn't feel right to do that. Is he still alive? Oh no. Hold on. Hold on. I think my, I think my Caprasuchus is still there. Is he dead or alive though? It's hard to tell. I don't know. Even my Ferox still looks alive. 
No, my Capro is alive, man. My Capro is still kicking. He's still kicking. It's not over yet. Okay, here he goes. All right, let me see how 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 bad he is. Okay, let me assess the damage. Are you okay? He's pretty good. Ah! What is that? That's a rock. Why is there a rock golem on me right now? <laughs> ah, he's still got it. Also, Celestial Yudiranus. Dang it. All right. So something I didn't think about was how are we going to get out of here? I don't have a, I don't have a, it's a teleportation remote. Um, oh my gosh. Also, what's with the music? Why, what's the fight music going on right now? I also, I also don't know. I, I don't know what to do. I have no clue what to do. All right. Demonic Capro. Sit tight, my bro. Um, where did old Rampager go? There he is. Okay. Where did we do? Where's our, where was our first? All right, leave. I just want him to like rampage somewhere else, basically, or just sit where he is. And then maybe I have an opportunity to check out a gravestone. There's so many around though. Which one do I check first? My poor Ferox, man. My poor Ferox. He barely survived a day. He didn't deserve this. Oh. All right, I'm actually, I've actually got a window here. No, I don't. 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 He's coming for me. Oh, he was coming straight for us. Ooh, that was close. So what do we do? I got to get him out of here somehow so I can check my gravestone. Even if it just means that I can teleport home. The thing is, uh, he will kill me in an instant, I assume. Also, it'd be nice to have a spyglass right about now. So I could actually see what sort of health he has. If we've actually damaged him at all. Um, I'm so disappointed that my demonic Capra suit just, just can't hit him well. And I guess it, I don't know. I, I'm not too sure. Not too sure. Oh, you know what? An Omni, Omni tool. I got an idea. I got an idea how I can get my stuff. It's all, oh, it is kind of a little cheaty, but oh no, hold on. I can just do that. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let's see if this works. So can I grab? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's try this on here out, eh? I'm just going to fly. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay. Oh, no. Go away. Transfer. Uh, advanced transfer. I want gravestone. And then I want yeah, everything. There is so much junk that I do not need. All I want is my spyglass so I can see if we've actually achieved anything so far. Because I feel like we haven't. And I really, 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 really want to know if we've achieved absolutely anything at all. Um, let's go. All dinos. Transfer to my personal inventory. There we go. Okay. So how are we looking? He's going to go and fight something. Here we go. Here we go. So, oh, we actually got him halfway down. Oh, guys, guys, we could do this. I think my, I think my Capra Suchus has got this in the back. Okay, I actually got to be careful, but I think my Capra Suchus can do this. He's clearly already taken him halfway. Um, he is pretty, you know what? Go and get him. Go and get him. This whole break was for nothing. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Go and get him. Go and get him. Go and get him. Fight, 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 fight him. Why aren't you following my whistles? I can't get any closer. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am way too close to this. Um, okay, there he goes. Come on. Come on. Damage him. Damage him. Like I know you can. Damage him like I know you Yes. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, if I lose my Capra Suchus here, I'm going to cry. Uh, but I feel like he's all right. I feel like he's doing a pretty... He's got him in the bag without any effort at all. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Show us we didn't lose our Ferox or Dignity for nothing. I feel like I'm still too close to this, but... Has he got it? Also, what is that T-Rex over there? Oh, that's an Origin Rex. <laughs> all right, I'll be coming for you soon, buddy. But uh, maybe tomorrow. Is it dead yet? Nope, nope. I still see lots of explosions. Um, I can't get any closer to this though. Um, okay, come on, come on. This 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 battle has to be close. Is anyone even still alive, or is it over? I see flames, but that's it. Um, well, uh, I think we have a result. We do. <laughs> We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We took it down. Did we take it down? No, probably not. I don't know if I can accept. Um, you know, the victory. But um, our Caprasuchus did. So Team Miola prevails. Oh my gosh, what a relief. This wasn't all for nothing. Um, okay, now I gotta work out how I'm gonna do this. This T-Rex is 100% gonna attack me. I just wanna get you home. I wanna get my demonic Caprasuchus. So now at least I'm safe. Um, and now 
I need to grab all of that loot. It's all just blueprints and we can get... Oh, is that an origin? Is that an... Hold on a second. We got an origin Kano as well as an origin Rex out here. Well, I guess you guys know what we're doing tomorrow. We're going origin hunting. There are double origins out here. I'm sure we'll find a third one along the way, but we are getting very, very close to being able to take on the next tier boss after the origins. We've only got a few more origins to take down until we're ready, um, but that T-Rex, once we take that down, we're going to be one step closer. But I do want to have a look at this loot. I want to do, have a do... Blah, 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 blah. Tongue tied. But let's have a look at these saddles. Hey, all of these blueprints. We got pretty much everything, I think. Yep. Elder Phoenix. Oh, actually, we got a lot of weird stuff. Elemental Griffin. We got uh Primal Tech Stegos. We got I have no idea if any of this stuff is even stuff we could use. Celestial T-Rex, but 56,000 height. Alright, this stuff is ridiculous to craft. I'm never gonna be able to craft any of this. 56,000 fabled hide for a Goliath fabled unicorns. Like, like what? And you only get a 50% armor boost out of that. So, yeah, this is all unaffordable. But hey, unless uh, things get out of hand and we do end up with a ridiculous amount of hide, um, maybe one day. Also, you can get Omega Wyverns. Ooh, that's cool. But uh, we obviously don't have that just yet. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this one right here. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and post that thumbs up. Make it rain. Say thumbs up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And also head over to MrMuller.com to check out some of our cool merch. Not these guys. You can't buy these on there. But anyways, guys, until the next time, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.